let's make a bow. Um, I have one, two, three, four ribbons here. Most of the time I use between five and six, but this is gonna go on something small, so I'm trying to keep it a little consolidated. This is cut around 36 inches. My big four inch, which I like to use four inch in all my ribbons, I will probably end up trimming this some after my ribbon is made into a bow. Um, I don't measure a thing, so I'm gonna show you guys first how I build the top, but I actually do it last. It's tricky, I just kind of taught myself this. You just wrap, keep a little tail, wrap your finger, twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop. You're gonna take this off your finger and then you're going to just fluff it out and make your tails come the way you want, just like that. That's gonna go on top of my bow. So I just wanted to show you guys that first because after I get finished making my bow, I'm gonna do this last to put the final touches on it. And I wanted you to get a better idea of how I do this before I finish my bow. So we'll just, all right, so I'm gonna put this, I just like to mix up solids and patterns. I just make a loop, twist, make another loop. I like to leave long flowy tails. That's a little bit too long. So we're going to loop, twist, loop. It's all about the twist and loop and how you hold it in your fingers. So you're gonna just twist this bottom part to be pretty, roll your fingers on it and make it flow. It's all about the flow. Um, I'm gonna make a loop, just lay it on top of the other one. It's all about layering. So you're gonna make, uh, and I just eyeball how big my loops are. So that's probably about a six inch loop. I just alternate them and I'm gonna twist this bottom part to make the pretty part show or it all face the right way. We're gonna twist this and loop it. Hold it with your fingers. Softly hold it, keep a soft hold on your fingers, on your bow. So we're gonna have this up here. I always like to have a flowier tail at the bottom. We'll do this one next. So we're gonna make a loop, just layer it on top. Twist the bottom part. See how I'm leaving a long tail? That's where the flowy tail part comes when you get finished with it. So you're gonna leave a lo longer tail on this end. Twist it, rub it with your fingers. Twist, loop. Just make it come up. All right, this is the twisty part that I like to make my little loop. You don't have to do this. You can just lay it like this, put a pipe cleaner on it or a zip tie and just do like this and make you some tails. I've seen people do it that way, but this is just kind of my signature bow. I'm gonna leave, I'm just making a whole separate bow on my finger. So I'm just gonna, I'm just able, I've just taught myself how to do it while I hold this also. I've just done it for so many years. I'm making a, leaving a little tail, wrapping it on my finger. I'm twisting it, making a loop, twist it, make a loop. You see how I just added my finger to hold it? And just, you gotta train your fingers. That's all there is to it. We're gonna take this off my whole finger. Ooh, let me make sure I found all the pieces. I just made a separate bow. See how that the long tail is, the long tails are over here. I'm twisting it to make my long tails match. Twist this part right here. And I always twist two pipe cleaners together because I'm gonna put it through the back to attach it to my wreath or whatever I'm gonna use. I use a zip tie. Just hold it all together in your fingers. Turn it over and you're gonna just zip tie it enough to where it holds it, but you wanna, before you put it real tight, you're gonna hook it through here. And then you're gonna just zip tie it real good, trim this off, turn it over, just fluff your ends. It's all about having soft hands and just layering and twisting and find your windows, fluff that bow. And just make your tails flow right. And that's how I do my bow. I do use more ribbon than this most of the time, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit simple for you guys. 
All right, I hope that helps.